So in this series, we're going to create a complete user login and management system using Laravel. Since version 7 of Laravel, there's been some changes in how you create the authentication scaffolding. So in this video, we're going to be covering those. If you've got an earlier version of Laravel, either Laravel version 6 or Laravel version 5, I also have video courses on those versions, and I'll link them in the description. So I've just created a fresh Laravel project here. And over in my .env file in the root of the project, I've set up my database connection details. As with all my videos, I'm using SQLite, but feel free to use any database engine you want. MySQL, Postgres is absolutely fine. And you'll notice now, if you come over to app HTTP controllers, we don't have any default authentication controllers there. And also under roots web.php, we can see we don't have any authentication roots. And that's because they are now in a separate package. So we need to pull them into our project. If you are creating the Laravel project from scratch and you've got the Laravel command line tool installed, you can actually install these by default. So when you're creating your project, if you just do a Laravel new as normal, and then the name of your project, say login, for example, and then you can pass it the dash dash or flag, and then that will build out the authentication for you. If you haven't done that, don't worry. I've not, and we're going to be pulling it in by Composer anyway. So if you are doing this with Composer like I am now, obviously change directory into your Laravel project and you want to type Composer require and we want to require the Laravel forward slash UI package. And then just hit enter. Then once that is installed, we need to publish our views. So we can do that with a PHP artisan UI view dash dash auth. Then we can just hit enter on this. You can see that has done the scaffolding and then we just need to build our front end assets. So we can do that with npm install and npm run dev. Now, if you're on a Windows system, this double and command might not work. So what you need to do is just run these two commands separately, and then that'll work fine. So as you can see, that has now built and compiled our front end assets for us. So if we head back over to our roots file now, we can see we have the auth roots here, and it's also created a default controller for us under home controller and under our app http controllers we can now see we have our auth folder with all our authentication controllers in there the final thing you want to do is migrate the database and then also under database migrations you can see we have our users table migrations so obviously we need to run these so we can do a php artisan migrate to migrate the changes once those migrations are run, the final thing is to do is let's check this out. So you can do a PHP artisan serve, and then that starts our project up over our localhost IP on port 8000. So just open this in the browser. And as you can see, we have our default Laravel project here. We have login and our register reviews. So we just click register, for example. We can see we have our registration form, and it's all ready to go. So in the next video, let's start building out our admin controllers that we will eventually be using to manage our users.